We're going to switch gears now and get to this rivalry between two of golf's biggest stars that has taken a nasty turn. Sergio Garcia is apologizing now for the racist crack he made about Tiger Woods, but will that be enough to finally end their feud? Paula here with that story. Talk about a foot in your mouth moment. Uh, well, pro golfer Sergio Garcia never at a loss for words, but this time maybe said one word too many. And now he is getting skewered over what some are calling blatant racist remarks aimed directly at Tiger Woods. It might be called the gentleman's game, but there's no love lost between Tiger Woods and Sergio Garcia. I don't care if I'm going to play with Tiger or not. The 2008 Players' Championship winner Garcia teed up a major controversy that has some calling racism. When jokingly asked Tuesday night if he would invite Woods over for dinner at an upcoming tournament, he said, we will have him round every night. We will serve fried chicken. Woods swiftly responded Wednesday, tweeting, the comment that was made wasn't silly. It was wrong, hurtful, and clearly inappropriate. I'm confident that there is real regret that the remark was made. My answer was totally stupid and out of place. Woods and Garcia have been battling on and off the green since the late 90s, most recently two weeks ago at the Players' Championship, when Garcia accused Woods of distracting him on this shot. If the other guy's hitting and you, and you do something when you're on the crowd, the crowd is going to respond and, you know, it's going to affect the other player. Not real surprising that he's complaining about something. And this isn't the first time Woods has been the victim of a remark considered racist. At the 97 Masters, another pro golfer, Fuzzy Zeller, was asked about Woods' record run and responded, say congratulations, enjoy it, and tell him not to serve fried chicken next year or collard greens or whatever the hell they serve. Woods forgave Zeller after he apologized, but this time, this transgression might have been out of bounds. People will certainly start to feel one way or another about Tiger based on how he handles it. Now, Garcia said that he called Tiger's agent to speak directly with him, but has not gotten through as of yet, but does intend to apologize directly at some point. But Garcia clearly wanting a mulligan off the course. I'll bet you. Okay, Paula, thanks very much.